Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I would definitely say that I think I consider this piece much more of a learning experience rather than a final product that I am happy with. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I think that I'm definitely coming into terms with uh, taking a step back from the final product and letting some pieces not be exactly what I want and allowing that to just be a learning experience rather than trying to attach disappointment to it or feeling really frustrated at myself or something that didn't end up working. So yeah, I'm trying to really look at pieces that basically don't turn out much more positively than I used to, but um, we can actually talk about this piece. So at the very beginning, I am doing the inking and this, like I said in my other video, how I wanted to try um, inking with a brush. That's what I'm doing right here. And it was really amazing, honestly. Um, <coughs> when I first started, I, I thought that it was gonna be a lot harder to control. And honestly, it's really, really not hard. Um, the Pentel Pocket brush pen that I use is actually much more unpredictable than a brush. Um, the brush just gives me so much more control over it. And I was able to get very, very precise lines similar to using a Micron pen and also much thicker but smoother lines, um, much better than I could ever get with the Pentel Pocket brush pen. So basically, I'm just really, really happy with this. It was kind of everything I wanted out of inking. It, <clears throat> it took away some of the pressure that I put with my hand when I'm working. So it was a lot gentler on my muscles. And in the end, my hand was not nearly as cramped up as it sometimes can be, especially when I'm using like nibs with ink. So, so yeah, using a brush was kind of this like eye-opening, amazing event where it's like, why didn't I try this earlier? I was just really apprehensive of using a brush. And for some reason, it seemed very hard to handle, but it actually is really not hard. It was a really pleasant, but the brush that I am using is a double zero round brush. So it's really, really small and slim. And it's also a synthetic brush, which means that it's able to be a lot stiffer. That way I could be able to get a lot more control over the lines and get really thin, um, really fine details in there with that same brush. But I think that the biggest downfall for this piece was that I did plan out the color scheme. I knew what colors I was going to use but I didn't really plan out as much the layering that I was going to do because for this piece there was going to be a lot of layers. I wanted to have the uh, the sand underneath her and then the water on top of her and then the water layering on top of her tail. So there was a lot of layers where it just kind of once I actually started executing it, it became a lot muddier and darker than I wanted it to. and. Yeah, I think it's just a big part of why this piece didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to was just that I didn't plan out as well. And it's helpful to see what parts kind of worked and what areas definitely didn't work. That way, when I do a similar piece like this, I can know how to make sure that I'm getting the kind of layering that I want for this one. Um, also, a big thing is that I, <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed to admit this, but I did not even look at any reference of the ocean or water. I just kind of sat down and painted it in. And obviously it, it ends up looking kind of weird because it doesn't look like a real ocean and the way she's sitting in it and the water, how it's like sitting around her. It doesn't really look as real as it could have been. So that is another huge issue is that I really should have been looking at reference photos. And when I, when I don't and then I have kind of a big mess up like this, it's always a good reminder of how desperately I need to look at reference. But yeah, I mean, doing this piece, it was very helpful for me to be able to see how to do something similar to this in the future. Because I know that I really want to do a mermaid piece and I really want one that I'm actually liking and that I'm proud of. So so it's it's good that I kind of got a lot of the pitfalls out of the way so that the next one that I do, I can actually succeed at making it the way I want it to. And I actually think that the next one um, a mermaid one that I want to do. I think I'd like to do it in a much bigger size paper because it's been a while since I've done it and I really kind of enjoy that. So, so yeah, this honestly was actually very helpful for me because these are all things that I would have made that mistake and now I will be able to not make as many mistakes. So that's exciting at least. But that is pretty much it for this piece. Like I said, there will be a new mermaid one that will be much brighter and more tropical because that's what I wanted to do with this one originally. So yeah, it'll be soon where I can actually do one that I like. 
But uh, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch my future art videos, and I'll see you in my next one.